somebody else commented too. Sorry about that. Welcome, welcome. So sorry about my volume. It, I was on mute and didn't realize it, but thank you for letting me know so that I could uh, troubleshoot that before we got into our project today. All right, guys, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for crafting with me today. Uh, we're going to make a really beautiful card with the Thoughtful Express Expressions Bundle. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to let you know who the share prize winner was from last week. And that was, and I hope I say it correctly, Karen Kozleski. I am not sure if I said that correctly. But anyway, so Karen, I do have your information. So I will send your happy mail to you. Uh, Karen is getting the uh, project that I made last week, that barn doors card as well as a color corrector which is great for when you have those little stamping boo-boos with your stamp and blend so i will send that to you so i do need to talk about something so and unfortunately it's not great news so that is going to actually be my last share price and the reason being is i am part of a business group and they have constantly been mentioning about According to Facebook policy, we cannot ask for you to share to like a group or your personal profile for the purposes of a prize entry. Um, I know, I know other demonstrators have been doing it for years. I've been doing it for a while, but uh, I really don't want to have to deal with the headache of if my account got closed, that I would not be able to be able to craft with you each week. So I figured it is not worth the risk. I still, please, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you sharing. Y'all are the sweetest for sharing my projects. And if you do have a project that you like and you want to share it with a friend, that's totally fine. You can share, still share, but I just cannot enter you into a drawing, you know, and, and have that stipulation, to, you know, in order to be entered to be able to share. So I hope that you understand that. Um, I know other demonstrators. Maybe we just been on borrowed time and hopefully nothing will happen, but uh, it's just not worth the, worth the risk. So um, I recently had an issue where, where, where I have, I'm no longer a sole proprietor for my business. I am an LLC and I needed to make a payment change with the Facebook. And it was literally a nightmare to get it done. I mean, there is no speaking with a person. Facebook's very, very difficult to get, a, to get a hold of. So I can imagine how difficult it would be if my account got shut down and I wouldn't be able to craft with you each week. So anyway, thank you for understanding. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know about that, that that was something uh, that is happening. There is also too, while we're on Facebook, I want to just let you know this too, that uh, Facebook recently, and it has surprised many of us, they are in sometime in April, I think it's April 20th, 22nd, 24th, something like that. They are going to discontinue letting Facebook groups or letting third party apps uh, be used in Facebook groups. All right. Now, what does that mean for you? It's not the end of the world, but my stream yard is a third party app. So when I am streaming, I am streaming to my Facebook business page, to my Facebook group, as well as to YouTube all at the same time. Okay. So we do not know exactly what's going to happen. If there's going to be a workaround, if there's going to be something with stream yard that may accommodate anyway. So just letting you know, so if you right now, what I would recommend is if you are currently only part of my Simply Sweet and Ink Designs group, then I'm going to encourage you to go over and follow my business page, which is my Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. Just that's what it is. There's no group to it. So if you are currently on Facebook and you do not have a share button, you are probably on my group. OK, so go search in Facebook, Simply Sweet Ink Designs and go follow my business page. That way you will receive the notifications when I go live each week and we can avoid you not seeing me in the group. Now, I don't know. I may be able to share after my video to the group. I'm not really sure. We're all kind of in limbo and waiting for more information. So anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up that that is coming down the line. And so some people are already experiencing issues where they're not able to stream to their Facebook group. And that's probably because Facebook is testing out some different accounts. They kind of roll it out in phases. So anyway, that's my bad news. I know bad news this today, but we've got fun news. All right. So we're going to make a really fun project today. So I'm going to flip my camera down or change over here. And we're going to make this really beautiful card with the Thoughtful Expressions Bundle. 
and just gorgeous images, really awesome sentiments. Um, I would show you my dies, but they're on loan. So as you can see, I don't have many of my dies here with me, uh, but I will share some of the projects that I have made for my March club so that you get an idea of the different dies that are part of that bundle, just gorgeous dies. Also, too, we're going to be working with, and I know that I'm going to butcher it, it's called the Quatrefoil uh, Tile Embossing Folder, and it just creates this really awesome embossed background that I thought went perfectly with the damask paper in the Poetic Expressions Designer Series paper that we're using today. So this is the paper, and this is actually the paper that I chose to use for the Sweet Creations Club for March. Um, I will show you the back side because I really wasn't that fond of this paper when I first saw it. But what I did is I chose the blue, really pretty blues and greens from the paper. All right, you ready for the back side because it looks totally different. So on the back side, we've got some kind of golds and kind of pinks on the back side, which can totally work in the right project, but it just didn't work for what I was doing for the March clip. So anyway, I just really love the blues and greens. And I particularly picked out this damask pattern for today's project. All right, so let me go on ahead. <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get my little quick reference here so that you can see all the measurements we're using today. Now, um, Karen, don't forget, uh, I don't. I say that you hopped on a little late. You were actually our share prize winner this week. So uh, I don't know if you heard that, but anyway, I have happy mail for you that I'll be mailing to you. Okay, so if you are part of my email list, you will tomorrow at three o'clock central time, you will receive the project sheet for today's project with the images, the list of supplies and instructions on how to make the project. If you are not part of my list, then make sure you go over and subscribe. All right. And so actually, I have my husband's iPad here. And let me share with you how to subscribe. So if you go over to my simplysweetinkdesigns.com website there, you will come to my blog page. And actually, I'm going to show you what the home screen looks like. So if you get to that, you can always see, go back, watch the video of my past projects. If you need to connect with me, you can go over here to connect, contact me. Here is where you can join my email list. All right. So if you go over my blog, connect, join my email list, that will take you to an option where you can subscribe. That way you can get my weekly project sheets, event notifications, as well as some promotions that I run. And some of them are very specific to my email list. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get our supplies in place. It's a pretty easy card today, not too bad. So we're gonna start off with some thick, basic white cardstock. This measures five and a half by eight and a half, and I have scored down the middle here at four and one quarter just to create a landscape card. Then next, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take, actually it's two pieces, on for the designer series paper layer, this piece measures three and a half by five and a half. And what I did is I'm going to glue it to a piece of the, you know, in the back of your designer series paper, you have that white backing. I just took that white backing, cut it to three and a half by five and a half to match. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to add stability. The, that designer series paper backing, don't throw it away. Put it aside. I have a whole stack of them. And I like to use it for things like this where I need some stability. And the reason I wanted that is because I'm going to be wrapping around some linen thread. And as you know, anytime you wrap linen or ribbon, sometimes you can tear your paper. And so I don't want to do that. I want to have nice, uh, stable layer there so that it doesn't rip into my pretty paper. So let's go ahead and let's get this glued on here. And we're just going to line these two up. Uh, let me put that off to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss a piece of thick basic white, or you can use regular basic white. It doesn't matter. I think I have the thick version here. And this piece measures two by five and a half inches. And we're going to take that really beautiful quatrefoil tile embossing folder, and we're going to do some embossing. Emboss this layer. So let me grab my 
embossing machine here. Now, if you have the stamp and cut emboss machine, I am using the base plate of one and the top plate of four. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put in our layer there inside. Now, because this is a 3D folder, that's when I'm going to want to use this plate for. And it's really awesome. What I love about this stamp and cut emboss machine is it will tell you right here. There's a guide. It tells you exactly what plate configurations you need based on what product you're using. All right, so we're just going to run this through the machine. It's probably going to jostle a little bit. And then we have our beautifully embossed piece here. I just love, love this, this uh, embossing folder. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to glue this on to our designer series paper layer. And I'm just going to put it right across the middle here. Get that lined up. Okay, now I have a nice stable surface here. We've got our layers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my linen thread and we are going to just wrap it around several times. It's going to take a nice big section here. Let's wrap it around a couple of times. And let me go on ahead. If you have, and you may not have one exactly like mine, they're called reverse tweezers. So when you squeeze them, they open, right? So what I'm going to do to help it be my extra set of hands here is I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to hold down my linen thread here while I tie it because it is very slippery. Let's see if I can get under there. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to tie this. I'm just going to make a pretty bow. Now, if you wish, you can use like a mini glue dot and just have it hold tight. I don't think I kind of got that tight enough. So what I may do is I may, you know what? I think I'm just going to take, let me grab a glue dot real quick. I have too much slack. So sometimes that happens. So I'm going to add a little glue dot here and I'm going to take up some of that slack so that you can't see it on the behind. There we go. That's a little tip, quick trick there. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our layer and we're going to add a bunch of dimensionals on the back. And I'm going to add a dimensional right there just to secure that spot so that my linen thread doesn't come loose on me. All right, so lots of dimensionals there because what we're going to do is we're going to have this lift up on the card front. One, I'm doing that just one because I want a little bit of dimension, but also two, to accommodate the linen thread that is underneath. And we are just going to put this right across our card front. And then now we're going to add our really pretty elements of those uh, labels. Now on here, what I do is I have from the Thoughtful Expressions dies. This is one of those gorgeous, gorgeous labels, one of those dies. Now I'm just going to tell you, I've already mentioned it a couple last few weeks, but this is one of my favorite new die sets. So if you were wondering, should I buy, should I not buy? I'm just going to tell you, you're going to see me using this die set a lot. So if you don't already have it in your stash, I'm going to highly recommend you add it because you will see it several times. And it's just one of the prettiest sets of dies that we've had in a really long time. So this particular die, this circle, I call it a deco circle in the instructions. It uh, is approximately three and one eighths in diameter and I use boho blue. And then for the uh, other circle, this is a from the Stylish Shapes dies. It's got a little bit of stitching around it. And this measures approximately two and a half across. Now I have already stamped the sentiment. You were in my thoughts today. So we're just gonna glue that right here on the front.
And then we're gonna do our hummingbird next. Let's see, is that lined up? I think so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, let's pop this up as well with some dimensionals. Don't think I need as many as I did for my designer series paper layer. And we're just gonna put this right here in the center of the card front. And now let's work on our really beautiful hummingbird. All right, so for the hummingbird, I'm gonna need a couple things. And that is my really pretty hummingbird. I'm gonna use Memento Black. And guys, I have to tell you something. I have ha I have two Memento Black ink pads. I have probably had them, I don't know, 10, 15 years. I'm not really sure. And they were getting to the point, it was really hard to work with them. I kept had, I just wasn't getting good images. So I recently got a brand new one. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I cannot believe I did not replace it earlier. So if you are struggling like I did, you have a really old black memento ink pad, it may be just time to replace yours because it makes such a better image when it's not all warped. Mine had gotten pretty ragged over the years. So we're going to stamp this because we are going to be coloring with some Stampin' Blends. And that using the memento will help keep it from bleeding as much. All right. So let's go on ahead. We're going to put this off to the side. Now I'm just going to let my ink kind of dry for a couple of seconds here. And I'm going to share with you the colors I'm using. Now I'm going to color the hummingbird with, it is soft sea foam green and the boho blue Stampin' Blends. Now I want to say, I think I just used the light ones of those. So I'm just gonna put the dark ones away. Now, uh, Karen, you had won the color corrector and I love having this because if you have any tiny little boo-boos, you just kind of dab it around and then you can remove, you can usually minimize at least or completely remove them. All right, so let's do a little bit of coloring. So I'm gonna put my sample here so I can remember how I colored it. So let's start with the soft sea foam and I'm just going to go here on the wings and I'm gonna color the outside part here in the green, soft sea foam. And then I'm gonna color the inside right here. You can totally flip flop if you want to make this the blue and the other the green, you can totally do that. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna color the other parts in the blue. And I accidentally, over, accidentally colored that part in green and I meant for it to be blue. That's all right, we'll cover it up. All right, let's go ahead, let's color the back part in the boho blue. All right, so I did really well. I didn't make any mistakes. I keep going in and out. Well, that is odd. I don't know why, Phyllis. Is anybody else having issues with my video or audio going in and out? Let me know. All right, so what I'm gonna do, just to kind of give you an example of how the color lifter works, I'm just gonna make a little mark there. And so what I will do is I will take, there are two ends. There is like a paintbrush end, and then there is a pen end. You can use either one. And what you do is you just kind of dab it. And then I kind of usually let it dry. It looks worse before it looks better, I promise. Let me come back. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry. So what I'm gonna do is let that dry. I will come back in a little bit. But in the meantime, I have already die cut out another hummingbird. And so we're gonna pop this one up with dimensionals. And we're gonna have it flying off on the edge here. And there you go, beautiful and simple. All right, it's still not quite dry, but it is lighter, right? So let's kind of come back. Let's dab again. 
I kind of like to let it dry in between. There we go, it's getting much, much better. So as you can imagine, see, it's much lighter, and of course, as it continues to dry, it will become lighter and lighter. It doesn't always necessarily mean it's gonna completely remove it, but it will definitely help tremendously to be able to lighten up any mistakes that you make. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add some of this really pretty iridescent foil gems. Just adds a little shimmer to our card. And let's go ahead and we'll add one here. I may go the opposite way. And one there. Just a cute little bit of sparkle to be able to decorate our card. All right, so let me go on ahead. No problem. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Hopefully it's just, hopefully it's not a, an issue across the board on my video. I don't know what happened earlier. My video started out with no sound and I apologize for that, but I think we're good. So I wanted to share with you the March Sweet Creations Club because it is also using the Thoughtful Expressions Bundle and they're just beautiful, beautiful projects. Um, I think I mentioned it last week, but the cards you will be making, you'll be making four cards and a treat box. Just some really other great ideas using this beautiful bundle and those beautiful dies. As I said, I didn't have the full set, but here's one of the deco rectangles. And what I did there is I kind of created a window or a little frame here on this. Then I took the other piece and used it on a project. And then there, these stack so beautifully. There again, we have the boho blue and I stacked it with the white. And then here is another one. This one I created like a frame. You don't have to do it this way. I actually cut inside the boho blue. So it kind of stood out more like a frame around the white sentiment. And this is actually a little trifold card. And then you also too, you will be making this really beautiful treat box as well. So the March Sweet Creations Club is uh, the registration or the subscription is open from now until March 5th. And... I did want to let you know, I'm going to flip back real quick. So for, I've been sending out, I sent out an email yesterday. So if you're on my email list, you may have gotten it. Uh, it is actually just letting you know that uh, in order to beat the price increase, my price for my Sweet Creations Club is going up effective with the April quick kit, which will start on March 6th. So if you want to beat that price increase, I really encourage you to subscribe by March 5th. You'll get that really beautiful, thoughtful expressions uh, kit. And then uh, right now it's $39 a month if you subscribe by March 5th. Now, if you are part of my club or you subscribe by March 5th, you and, and your subscription remains active, I will grandfather your your pricing in for one year until March 5th of 2025. So I really want you to beat that price increase. If you've been thinking about joining, you can join for a month or two. I really usually recommend you stay in for at least six months so you get your free gift from me. And that's a lot of fun. There's some other club perks that you get as well, being part of the club. So I do encourage you to go on ahead and subscribe. Uh, I have had some people subscribe in the last couple of days. So I have emailed you, sending you a welcome email. If you did not get that welcome email, please let me know so that I can make sure and resend it to you. Okay. Um, guys, I can't think of anything. Oh, I was going to show you how to subscribe. So if you're like, okay, Deborah, I'm, I'm, what is this all about? I'm interested. How do I subscribe? Let me get you back. Okay. Let me go back here, back to my blog. So if you're on my blog, what you can do is you click on clubs and events. You click on the Sweet Creations Club. It's going to take you through all that really good information. It has right here the notice about my price increase. So as long as you are an active club member and you are currently a club member or joined by March 5th, then you will have your price lock for one year. However, if you do cancel and resubscribe later, then it will be at the new pricing of $43 a month. All right, and then just all the stuff, the gift that I send out every six months, uh, what's included in your kit, what do you need, information about your subscription. But if you keep scrolling, I have a sneak peek of the current or the upcoming kit, as well as what you'll need, the supplies you'll need. If you're part of, if you're here locally, you want to craft with us, the information is there. Here's what you're looking for. Go all the way to the bottom there and almost to the bottom and you will see the subscribe button. You can either subscribe with your PayPal account or if you don't use PayPal, then you can subscribe with a debit or a credit card there. All right. And then there's just pictures of my past kits that I have done. 
And also, too, if there, you are interested in any of the, the tutorials, you can get them in my PDF store. All right. OK, guys, so reach out with any questions at all. I really would love to send you this project kit. And I hope that you all have a great week. And I am going to check your comments. Thank you, Jeanne. Hi, Lori. Hi, Phyllis. Hey, Tina. Mary. Thanks, guys, so much for joining me. Laura. All right, guys. I hope that you all have a great weekend. Let's see. I don't see any questions, pertinent questions. All righty. Okay, guys. I will see y'all next Friday. Y'all have a wonderful weekend and y'all take care. Bye, guys.